a dream holiday for Canadian researcher Stephanie Strathdee and her husband in 2015 turned into a nightmare when he contracted a dangerous superbug infection. He was fully colonized with this organism and it was eating him alive from the inside out. By the time he was medevaced to a San Diego hospital, he was on life support. His bacterial infection was resistant to all available antibiotics and the doctors had run out of solutions. So doctors turned to a little used treatment called phage therapy. Phages are viruses that can't be seen with the naked eye. But under a sophisticated microscope, these bacteria killers look like space invaders. They target bacteria and infect it, finally destroying the cells from the inside. Now researchers are looking at all sorts of potential uses for phages. So these are the gels that we've created. Gels completely made out of bacteria killing phage viruses. Once we pack all these viruses into the gel, the solid, the gel itself, starts to exhibit a range of, uh, a range of attractive properties that we can now start to use for various biomedical and environmental applications. The gel has the potential ability to regenerate or heal tissue. No antibiotics are needed. Imagine you have a wound dressing that's made of bacteriophages. This wound dressing can help heal the wound because it's antibacterial. The gel phage is in its early stages, but one day researchers hope it could be used on bandages. Let's get uh, one more blue pad. And for this Toronto plastic surgeon, targeted therapy with phages has important advantages over drugs. Any time that you can reduce the amount of antibiotics you're prescribing to someone and you have a local treatment is a great opportunity in, in clinical medicine. Phage therapy is still experimental in both the U.S. and Canada, and only a handful of researchers in North America are looking into it. But they say these superbug-killing viruses hold huge promise in saving lives at a time when some antibiotics no longer can. Cass Roussey, CBC News, Toronto.